Hey guys, I'm Drys. I'm Ben. And we're gonna talk all about the end credits of Deadpool 2. What happens the first bit? Well, it cuts to the credits and then text rolls. Keeps rolling. Rolls. And then stops. And then we got Teenage Warhead. She's in the room. Is she fiddling around? She's having a bit of fiddle? Not with a girlfriend. That's dirty. <laughs> no, she's playing with a little amulet, little time thingy. It's Cable's timepiece. You can go back in time. So anyway, Deadpool's getting that fixed. And they're like, you know, be careful, Deadpool. So he takes that and then you see him using it and he goes back in time. He saves the X-Force. They all live. And what is the biggest spoiler that we wanted throughout the whole movie to happen? He saves Vanessa's life by yep. throwing that, what is it, pizza cutter or something? Yeah. Straight over, gets a guy directly Boom. in the head done, Vanessa doesn't die. Yep. So that means we've got the X-Force living and we have Vanessa living. But Cable doesn't know that the timepiece is fixed. Is this for real? Is this part of official canon now? Have they actually erased all these things from, from actually happening? I don't know. I, I love the X-Force scene, but seeing Pete survive just, just really warmed my cockle area. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to talk about your favourite of these little scenes from this montage oh that we see. God and it involves a certain film that gets brought up a lot by Ryan Reynolds. You, I think I'll leave this to you, Draz. Okay, guys. We wanted a Wolverine cameo, okay? We wanted Hugh Jackman to step back in the role as Wolverine, Logan, and he does sort of. They use footage from Wolverine. They go back to Wolverine where Ryan Reynolds is the original Deadpool. You know, with the, the mouth and he's got the things. Anyway, he's standing there. And Wolverine's doing his line from the movie. Striker finally figured out how to shut you up. And then you just see bam, bam, bam. Deadpool kills the original Deadpool. It is just fantastic. With a few caps, a few more bullets than he a probably needs. A yeah. lot of caps. He just it's, kept shooting him. Right. He just kept shooting it's him. It's a very cathartic experience, I feel, for Ryan Reynolds. I, love, I, I, love I just, I, I don't even know where this, this whole thing stops now. Like, it started with him talking about it in interviews, he's followed it through to its logi logical conclusion. Like, at what point do the studios get the shits? Like, it, it, everything he pitches, they just go for. And Hugh Jackman, what a good sport he is oh, for yeah. letting him use his footage in such a way. Oh, look, they're best friends. But you know another cutscene that you laughed your friggin' head off and I was just, like, in shock? It was, I mean, look, it's yet another scene that involves a project that Ryan Reynolds would rather forget. It involves him reading the script for Green Lantern, putting it down. I can't remember the words he spoke. It's He's basically like... like I've, I made it. Yeah, I've this done is this. it. This is it. This, this, is this movie's going to be amazing. <laughs> Boom, bullet to the back of the head, execution Straight style, the face down, on the table, blood everywhere, green lantern, the crowd goes wild. Oh, that was nuts, man. And that is, that's where it ends right there. Because you can't, how can you top that, you know? I mean, I feel like at this point, he, he has a license to just be forgiven for whatever shitty thing he's done in the yeah, past, you know? True. But And he takes a piss, which is great. Another scene that we didn't mention was Juggernaut. He actually comes out of the water at the end after he got the electric. Yep. Uh, cable straight up his butt. Yep. This and is, you, yeah. This is the very end after that hero shot of the X-Force walking down yeah. the street. They couldn't help themselves. They had to keep Juggernaut alive. Just gets out of there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think as a mid credit, and there was no end end credits apart, sting. Apart from the Juggernaut song. Well, yeah, there's a great little song. You should stick around to the other credits still, because during the film, I couldn't quite hear this in the background all the action going on, but there's a great choral, big, like, orchestra song involving Juggernaut, Jug, and, and Jug, so the, I think Jug, the lines Jug, are kind of like, holy shit, holy shit, it's Juggernaut, something like that. <laughs> that sounded like Tim Burton, a Tim Burton film, but anyway, it's, it's better than that. <laughs> this is a pretty cool way to handle end credits, steering clear of that very end credit thing that Marvel always do. Yep. This was a fun way to kind of remix the franchise and other things that Ryan Reynolds has been meaning to get off his chest for a while. <laughs> And I think this rates up there as some of the best end credits things I've seen. The well, funniest anyway. It was yeah, absolutely incredible. It's something that we didn't expect and we got it. I'm Draz. This I'm is, Ben. This is Ben. Yeah, I, I think I am Ben. Yeah. You are yes, Ben. You, yes. you could be Wade, Wade Wilson. I'm Ben. Know. And look, remember to subscribe to our channel below on YouTube, on Instagram. And till next time, we'll see you nerds at the movies.